Father, do you do you pray for Francis? Do you think that we should pray for Francis? I pray that he will save his soul. Yeah. I pray, you know, I, I pray that if by some stretch of the imagination, he really has the Catholic faith somewhere. I mean, it's not what he's professing, but if, that God will give him the grace to to profess that faith, the true Catholic faith. You know? I pray that if he does not have the Catholic faith, as from all appearances he does not, that he absolutely explicitly rejects the Catholic faith, I pray that God will give him that faith and then give him the fortitude and the love for God to profess it even unto martyrdom. I do actually pray for him that he will do that. Typical modernism and Freemasonry. Uh, someone asked uh, in the course of last week's show if uh, Francis was a, um, a Freemason, and I said he, he might be, but I doubt it. So, um, <clears throat> in any case, uh, I think we had the best of the human minds, Catholic minds at work here, but I think we also had a divine, divine inspiration guiding the Vicar of Christ, St. Pius, to tend to see the future of the Church. Absolutely. Okay, <clears throat> then moving on, Father, we have another email on this one. Uh, reads from a viewer who says um, he was surprised to see how critical Father Jenkins was of the SSPX and FSSP and the Institute of Christ the King uh, for, for professing one faith with Francis and the uh, Canon of the Mass and the Unicum Mass. And he says, my question is, how can Father Jenkins in principle reconcile his own criticism of these groups uh, and yet not attack his involvement with Bishop Kelly, who was consecrated by Bishop Mendez. And Bishop Kelly himself even admitted that uh, he wasn't sure if Bishop Mendez used, at that time, John Paul II's name in the canon of the Mass. Mm -hmm. Do you see any hypocrisy there, Father? I don't see any hypocrisy whatsoever. 